I just got finished with um, a pretty light session, but uh, I kind of wanted to just make this like the end of my vlog series leading into nationals. And here's why. Um, I think I'm like close enough that I don't want to stress both worrying about content creation and filming and what my heavy lifts look like and also, uh, you know, worry about actually performing and, you know, what it takes to get under the barbell and, and do what I need to do. So like, I don't know, I'm trying to balance this point in between being someone who puts my training out there and also being someone who performs really well. And most of the time, that's certainly really manageable, but I think close to competition, I really want to flip a switch and make it more about um, myself and my own performance and putting my best foot forward and focusing on what I need and just kind of eliminating distractions wherever I can. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really just about that. Um, plus, you know, the footage leading into competition really is just gonna be some openers and, and a little bit of commentary and stuff like that. So I kind of want to just make this one a little bit longer and just chat a little bit. So this, uh, you know, just kind of, I don't know, summarize this prep. This was one of the best preps I've ever had. I think we did a really good job of balancing overall fatigue management uh, up to this point, um, even training specificity. Like I, I used to be squatting three days a week and now we're squatting two days a week. We've been using lots of lower specificity work in the form of the leg press, the pitch chart that you guys have seen. Um, similar thing for the upper body, keeping the benching frequency just a little bit lower in specificity than it has been in the past. Well, specificity is high, but it's either competition bench pressing or doing uh, something else like, uh, what else have I been doing? The chest flies, for instance. And then the deadlifts, I had that really good block with sumo block pulls uh, before transitioning back to sumo deadlifts. Feeling strong, keeping me healthy, and I think I will be bringing my best self into competition, which is ultimately what I care most about. Um, so as far as goal setting going into competition, uh, I I really just want to bring the focus uh, onto me and just keep it there. Eliminating all distractions, all outside noise, just focus on making the next lift, just focus on putting uh, a PR performance for myself uh, and doing that with the help of Matt Gary, Susie Gary, and Eric Helms, my coach. So Matt and Susie will be handling me. They've done so at every single meet that I've been really successful for. And really, I just kind of want them in my corner. They are outstandingly positive, um, smart handlers who will put the right weight on the barbell. And I fully give my confidence into them and, and their ability to make smart decisions. Um, and then Eric, well, we'll all come together with a really good plan. Eric knows me best, um, better than anyone. And really it'll just be about putting our heads together and putting that performance together and allowing me to, to shine. So um, there's that. Uh, I had a very positive session today. I was talking to myself out loud. I had my headphones on, I had good music on. Uh, I was just kind of running around in the corner of the gym doing my own thing. And that's, God, that's such a good feeling. It's, it's really such a good feeling to just own your training environment, to just live and, I don't know, breathe a little bit. And I just had these moments of like insane positivity and belief in myself. And uh, it feels good when that happens, you know? I, I hope that if you guys haven't experienced that, that you guys all get to experience that at some point in the near future. So, um, yeah. I'm just, I'm super optimistic about my own performance and the work that I've put in. Uh, I think my work and my preparation will show uh, for itself. And yeah, I'm just excited to put it out there. Um, I feel like I've earned the progress that I will, uh, I will be showing uh, with small changes to technique, with small changes to nutritional adherence, with small changes to outlook, attitude. These things have been hard won and uh, I don't really talk about it a whole lot, but there's been a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes. You know, I've I've worked with sports psychologists in the past. Um, I've really dialed in nutrition at some points uh, with the help of Renaissance periodization for a while, uh, with the help of you know Eric Helms and just kind of instilling some good dietary habits to live by. Um, 
you know, I've, I've had to work on, you know, stress management, basically managing expectations uh, and just learning what it takes for me to perform my best over time. So combination of all of that, I'm just, I'm very excited. And I thank you guys for following through on this journey uh, with me. This is the first vlog series that I've actually finished and put a cap on and closed. So that feels good too. Um, and of course, right after competition, I'll start this back up again and we'll get into some off season. I've got some good ideas for what training is gonna look like then, but I'm just kind of separating those for now and just keeping my focus on the competition up ahead and what I plan to do. So um, that's gonna do it for this one. Um, I think my mindset is so on right now. Um, physique, feeling good, body weight is good. Uh, I feel, you know, sore, but ready to go and uh, excited. So, all right, I'll close this out. And the only other footage you guys will see will be on, um, on Instagram. If you guys want to go follow my Instagram, the account is Bryce underscore TSA. If you're not following that already. And again, there's some really awesome, uh, insights that we put together for a free weekly email series called, um, the athletes performance toolkit so you can get that at the strengthathlete.com backslash apt uh, for free and we've got a few new podcast episodes coming out as well so myself and a bunch of other athletes will be going to um, prime time and competing at nationals the women's roster just got released a few minutes ago and i can't wait to see the men's roster as well so good luck to all the athletes uh, i hope everyone kills it and i will talk to you guys soon